Good afternoon, families. Um, just reaching out with uh, a vlog for today, Monday, March 8th, 2021. Um, got a couple of big things coming up, and I wanted to reach out and just kind of communicate kind of what's been going on. Uh, so finished report cards this last Friday, um, and you should have access to them, I believe, at the end of today, or if not tomorrow, on Infinite Campus. Um, uh, conferences schedule should be out for Sign Up Genius, so please make sure uh, you find a time if you'd like to chat. I imagine actually just about everybody will. Um, so if something's not working, please reach out, let me know, and we can find a time where we can connect. Um, other important things that are coming up, aside from all of the, uh, the changes of moving from hybrid into five-day in-person, this next Sunday, March 14th, is Daylight Savings Time. And there's always the, what are we doing? Are we moving our clock which way? We're moving our clocks forward, so we'll be losing an hour. And then the next day, we come back full day in-person from 8 15 to 325. Um, so that's going to be a big change. So please make sure uh, kiddos get a great night's sleep because um, it's going to be a big day. Um, so, and of course, that's always tricky with bedtimes and uh, kiddos being hangry and tired and all those things. So uh, please, please, please make sure kiddos get to bed on this next Sunday. That will really help out. Um, other things, um, we're going to be moving to full five-day in-person. Um, I've reorganized the classroom already. We're getting uh, more desks in, I believe, on Wednesday. They're here in the building. They just haven't been delivered yet um, to accommodate uh, bringing together um, our PM cohort with our AM cohort. Um, one student who's returning from virtual who stayed virtual in January, and uh, we are... Um, welcoming four new students and families uh, from Ms. Sai's class as she um, will be the virtual teacher uh, for first grade between Lake Bluff and here at Atwater, which is difficult, of course. Um, and it's going to take all of us to kind of welcome these families and these students together and um, make this next change, which we're all going through, uh, something that can be positive and uh, to kind of work together as a new crew between now and the end of the year. Um, so I know there's going to probably be questions and um, things from those families. And I know that as a community um, that we can come together and just kind of help those families and students feel welcome um, and make that transition uh, a about as good as it can be at this point. Um, so look forward for some more information with that as we try to help them get uh, up to speed with kind of where things are at with our classroom and our students and um, making ourselves a new crew. Um, so that'll be uh, that'll be our big kind of push and um, challenge coming in for this next week. That said, it's getting warmer outside. Please make sure you're still sending kiddos with warm clothes because if the wind comes up, it can get cold very quickly. But that said, um, please make sure they still have boots, not just shoes, because it's now super muddy and we want to keep the mud out of the classroom. Um, that's important. We started with some sidewalk chalk today and uh, playing with uh, kind of like a bouncy ball outside. That was very popular. So um, if you have extra sidewalk chalk that you don't need, or if we run out, which we might because we had some lot, a lot of art today, um, I might ask for a little bit more if you have the opportunity. That would be great. Um, otherwise, I'm very excited um, to just kind of move into having all-day instruction. Um, it'll give us the opportunity to really dive in and dig into the things that we just kind of end up almost having just enough time for, uh, which will be fantastic, especially with some writing and um, diving in a little bit deeper with some reading and some uh, different games and things like that, that we just haven't had the opportunity to play um, with the time that we have in hybrid. So I hope you are all doing well. Um, I hope that this transition, it goes as smoothly for you as it will be here. We'll just kind of review and start again as we always do and make the most of it. It's a beautiful spring that is coming. It's gorgeous outside. Um, so we have lots to look forward to. We have 
a wonderful part of the year to finish up. So thank you all so much for your patience. Thank you for all the things that you are doing. And I cannot wait to meet with you for conferences. Have a wonderful rest of your day.